Working in the DW band means working in a very high UHF band. Unfortunately, these bands are being also used now by the telecom companies for LTE. You can see the different mobile phone providers and their bands here in the regional grid information, in our case Germany. We can see that the O2 and Vodafone LTE downlink is in use at the moment. Here. And there are some interference signals around 840 megahertz in the O2 uplink as well as a wider interference in the Vodafone uplink here. And there's also some interference in the ISM band. The LTE duplex gap as well as the ISM band is an area we can use, so we are going to give them a high priority. So I mark the area I want to define. Select the type, which in our case is usable band, give it a name, check the frequency borders and probably correct them, if I didn't get it that right. And set the priority to high. I use priority high since I want WSM to try hard to place most of my frequencies in this area. Now I'm doing the same thing with the ISM band. Next I mark the two individual interference frequencies. One is in the LTE uplink and one is in the ISM band. So I zoom in the chart area to get a better picture. Mark the interferer with a cursor. And I select interference frequency. Give it a name. And now I have to select the tolerance, which is like a safety area around the interferer and which will be also blocked. So let's choose 250 kilohertz. And now I do the same thing with the other interferer. Finally, we are defining the blocked areas which we want to avoid. You can see that at the moment only some LTE channels are in use. So it looks like we have plenty of space in the spectrum next to our duplex gap, here and here. But please be aware that it can be very risky to place microphones in an LTE channel, since you never know if there will be an interference coming up soon. So, although we usually would just block some LTE channels, we go save and block them all. I mark the area I want to block. And select unusable band. I give it a name. Check the frequency borders. And I do the same thing for the uplinks now. Okay, great. Our environment is defined now. And WSM knows where it is allowed to place frequencies and where not.